My name's James Watson, I'm 21 and I'm originally from Beckles in Suffolk. The way that I first got into like pursuing a career in like TV and film was I was looking at in year 10, so I was like 14, something like that, and we looked at all the options that we could do for our work experience. I um, was looking down the list and there's one called the Offshoot Foundation, it said, like, oh, filming and TV and stuff. I was like, oh, that's really cool. I want to find out about that. And then, uh, yeah, from there they introduced me to Paul and the Offshoot team and it's my life's never been the same since. So I work as a multi-skilled operator, so I do quite a bit of camera work, I do replay operating, uh, I do floor managing, and when needs be, I do directing and vision mixing. So it's kind of like an all-rounder role, which have become a bit more prevalent in the TV industry. I had quite a kind of traditional school background, so my only real media work that I did was doing it for GCSEs and A-levels, which were quite very essay-based and not very practical. Uh, but that's where the Offshoot Foundation really gave me a chance to experiment and learn all the skills that then meant when I went to uni, I had this large amount of skills and talents, or kind of starts of talents, that have kind of led me up and helped me to build to the level where I am now. So I went to university at Ravensbourne and I studied digital television production. And actually, I originally heard about Ravensbourne and that course specifically from the Offshoot Foundation because uh, Paul had said that he'd known others that had gone there previously. And I have to say, it was, that advice was the best advice I've ever been given in my life. Uh, Ravensbourne was amazing for me. It helped me develop my skills. It was massively practical based, which is where my skill set was. And it was a great environment to kind of flourish and be creative and experiment. I decided to go to university because apart from the work I'd done with Offshoot, I knew there was no chance that I'd be able to go and get a job straight into industry. Uh, uh, where I was based uh, in Beckles, there's not much around there in the way of OBs or TV companies. So I felt that going to uni was my best and only real shot of getting a career in the industry. I love the fact that my job is never the same two days over. Well, my dad once told me when I was a kid, and I remember this conversation for life, he said the quality of a job you'll always be able to tell by how repetitive it is. And that always stuck in my head. And at the end of the day, I go and I do a job uh, if it's camera operating, replay operating, uh, floor managing, directing, vision mix, any of them. It's never the same day twice, and I love that. The advice I'd give to anyone that wants to succeed in this industry is just never stop trying, be enthusiastic, and let people see your enthusiasm. Because I find that, for me personally, it wasn't my talent that got me where I was, it was the fact that I was willing to do anything and run anywhere uh, to help get a job done. And that's what got me employed back a second time. 